What is up YouTube? Adam here. Today we're going to be going over make files and unit testing in C++. So let's create all the files we need using touch. We'll need a main, a utility file, and a header file for the utility file. As well, we'll need to create our make file. So we'll open main in the Atom editor. We'll include the IO stream library so we can print the console. And we're going to be using namespace standard to save some typing and we'll create our main function and return zero for success. We we'll use console out to print the result of a simple function that we're going to make and we'll include our utility header. So now we'll save main and open the utility header. Header files are for function definition also known as a function signature. It's bad practice to place implementation here. It becomes clear why as you become more proficient in C++. So our function returns an integer and accepts two integer arguments as parameters. So now let's open util.cvp and begin implementation of our function. First we need to include our header file to import the signature. And then we implement our function. It takes two integer arguments and returns their sum. Okay, so let's manually compile this so you've seen it done once before we use make files. So open up a terminal window and clear the screen. G++ is used to compile and assemble util.cvp into an object file, and then we'll do the same thing for our main. Finally, we compile and link our object files into an executable file called main. So if we look at our directory, we see the object file and the executable file, and if we run it, we get what we expect, the sum of 2 plus 2. So let's set up a make file to save the hassle of manually compiling and linking. The first two lines of the make file are going to be our compiler. We'll let G++ be our compiler and C flags be a list of flags that we pass to our compiler. I'm leaving it as an exercise to the viewer to figure out what these compile flags mean. So we want to create a file called main and it will depend on object files for main and util. If main.o hasn't been compiled since the last edit time of main.cpp, we'll use G++ to compile and link our object files into an executable file. If util.o, which is dependent on util.h and util.cpp, hasn't been compiled since the last edit time of either util file, we'll use g++ to compile them. We use the dash c flag as an additional compiler flag here. Finally, it's customary to have a clean command to remove any object files that may be artifacts cluttering the directory. So if we type make, we'll see that everything is up to date. So let's clean our directory. And as you can see, the object files are removed. So let's type make. And we can see that our files were created for us. And if we run our executable, we get the correct output. Last but not least, let's cover how to set up unit testing. Head over to Google and search for accutest.h. It's a single header testing facility for C and C++. You'll find the GitHub link and click on include and then you'll see the header file. Then click on it and download the raw version. But I'm going to steal the URL for it and download it using curl. So we copy the URL and head back to the terminal. Okay, so now we're going to use curl to download the single file header and we're going to store it in accutest.hpp. This is to conform to the C++ standard. So now let's create the main entry point into our unit tests. So we open our file in the Atom editor. The first thing we need to do is include the header for accutest.hpp. And then we need to include the header for our utility file. So it's convention to write your unit test with the prefix test underscore and then the name of the function you're testing. And then we create a list of tests for our utility file. It takes a string that identifies the test and the name of the function that runs the test. Finally, we need to end the list with an open close curly brace with a zero in between. So this is just terminating our test cases. All right, so now we'll fill in the meat of our test. Type all caps test underscore all caps check underscore. Don't forget that last underscore. And then the function you want to run the test on and its assertion value, which is four here. 
and then we want to create a format string that describes how the test is printed to the console. This is close to string interpolation or using printf. We are sliding the values into the format string essentially, and that's good enough to get us going. So now let's open our make file and we'll add the test to it. Now the easiest way is to just copy what you have from main and change every occurrence of main to test underscore unit. And don't forget to add test underscore main to our clean function. So now we'll clear the screen and clean our directory. Type make clean. And now let's make our test. So everything compiled and when we run it, we see success, all tests have passed. You can run the test with a dash V flag to see a verbose output of the unit test. And that's the basics of makefile and unit testing.